second graders. I hope you've enjoyed this lovely weekend with the beautiful weather we've had outside. And we're gonna have another fun week of digital learning together. So today we're gonna be moving on from two digit addition to three digit addition. And it works basically the same way, but I'm gonna break it down into steps for you. So we're gonna start with our simple HTO chart, hundreds, tens, and ones. And remember in these place values, if you have nine or less, you can let it rest. If you have nine or more, you need to go next door and regroup. So first let's talk about what our expanded form looks like when we have an HTO chart. So we'll just do a few for an example. So here we have hundreds and we have tens and we have ones. This can be represented with expanded form. So we have one, two, three, four, five ones. One, two, three, four tens, which is really 40. And then we have two hundreds. So we've expanded our number out into 200 plus 40 plus five, and we know that that equals 245. We can also use the HTO chart to help us add three digit numbers using the same representations with ones, tens, and hundreds. So let's set up a problem. So here's another math problem for us. We have hundreds, tens, and ones, plus hundreds, tens, and ones. So let's see what we have. Here we have two ones. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tens, and 100. Here we have four ones. We have one, two, three, four, five, tens, and 100. So let's add them together and see if we have to do any regrouping. So here we have two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we don't need to regroup that because that's less than nine. So less than nine stays here. We don't have to regroup. Nine or less, let it rest. Nine or more, go next door to regroup. Let's check our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So we have more than nine here. So let's see if we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We need to move it over into the hundreds place because that makes 100. So I'm going to trade that out for 100. And now we have two left. Because we had more than nine, we had to go next door, nine or less, let it rest, nine or more, go next door. So we did have to regroup this time. So our new number when we added those together is 300 plus two tens, which is 20, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 326. So this can also be represented not only with blocks, but on paper or a whiteboard. So if you want to get a whiteboard out and follow along and pause the video when you need to, you can do these problems with me. For this example, I'm going to start with an equation at the bottom, and then I'm going to use that information to draw my 10 sticks, 100 squares, and my ones. So I'm going to start with blue again. So I'm going to start with 326. So there's 300, so one, two, three, 26. And now I'm going to do 192, 100, 92. Okay, now I am ready to do my adding. So here I have my 6, 7, 8. So here I have 8. That's 9 or less, so I can let that rest. And here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I cannot have 11 tens in the tens place, in the tens column nine or less, 
I can let it rest in the tens column. Nine or more, I have to go next door. So I have to take my hundred out of here. So I need to find 10 tens. So I knew this was nine, so I'm just gonna take one from here. And I'm going to take those 10 tens and I'm going to move them over and make a new hundred. So now I just have one 10. And now I can count my hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So here I have my expanded form, 500 plus 110, which is 10, plus eight ones. So I know when I turn my expanded form into a regular number, it's going to look like this. Same thing here, we have five hundreds, one ten, and eight ones. So 326 plus 192 is 518. So there is another way to do three digit addition without just using the algorithm all the time. It's just another way to show you. Let's do another example. So here I have 483 plus 251. So I need to represent these numbers in our chart showing hundreds, tens, and ones. So I like to use my colors, so I'm going to show 483 using blue. So there's my 400. Now 80, I need to use my 10 sticks. Remember, these aren't tallies, these are 10 sticks, so please don't cross off the fifth one. And then you have three ones. So there is 483. Now I'm gonna get my red marker, and I'm going to show 251. So there's my 200, my 50, and my one. So now I can add them together. Let's see if we have to do any regrouping. So here we have three and one. Well, I know that's four. And then we have a lot of tens. I have a feeling we're gonna have more than nine. Nine or less, let it rest. Nine or more, go next door and regroup. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, that is far more than 9, so I need to circle a 10, which would make a 100. 10 tens is a 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here I just made a 100, so I'm going to bring that 100 down here. So I've moved 10 tens over, and now I have three tens left. Well, three tens is 10, 20, 30. So we're writing it in expanded form. And now I can look at my hundreds. I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So 700 plus 30 plus four is 734. We know we have seven hundreds here. We have three tens and we have four ones. So seven hundreds, three tens, and four ones. So 483 plus 251 is 734. So now that we've practiced the HTO chart, I'm going to have you practice in Seesaw. And then tomorrow we will be doing adding with three digits with the standard algorithm. It's important to know different strategies for adding. So we're gonna do the HTO charts today and then move along to different strategies for the rest of the week.